Well, lot of you guys were searching on YouTube that how to make a creative photo for your Instagram uploads. So this is the video which you are searching for. What's up everybody, it's Ashish Johan here. Welcome back to yet another tutorial. So guys, today in this video, we're gonna create a very bokeh photo manipulation in Photoshop with kind of a you know, cool and trendy color tone for your Instagram uploads. So before any further delay, let's get straight into the video. Till then guys, be creative and be awesome. So guys, all you have to do is just first of all we will crop the photograph for our Instagram profile. So select the crop tool and select the 80 to 10 ratio. Now we will just increase the size of the image. And this one is looking very much pretty much perfect. Now just hit OK. <coughs> so all we're gonna do is just duplicate the layer. Press uh, select the marquee tool and just select the area this much now just right click on it and select layer copy option and now go to the edit and select the free transform just right click on it and select flip horizontal and just place it somewhere over here so that our canvas would be extended now just merge both the layers again let's select the marquee tool and just you know select portion somewhere over here now just right click on it and select layer bar copy <coughs> Go to the edit, select the free transform and flip it horizontal way. Now just place it somewhere over here. Now just merge both the layers. Now all you have to do is just select the quick selection tool and just click on the plus icon and just roll all over the subject's body to make it selected in a proper way. You can also use the pen tool to select it in a you know, very precise and detailed way. It will take some time you know, to select the whole subject using the pen tool. You, you can take your you know, time and just select it properly. Now just we have selected and just like make a layer by copy option or directly press Ctrl J from the keyboard to make a duplication of the subjects. So here you can see we have created a layer of the image. Now all you have to do is let's add the background in the photograph. So go to the file, click on open and let's just uh, browse the background this background will be found in the description so you can download this from the description just select both the background let's just drag it and drop over here go to that it select the free transform it just decrease the size of this image let's place it somewhere over here now all you have to do is just you know just drag it and drop over here go to the edit the select the free transform and just press shift and alt key to enlarge the image now let's just place it somewhere over here or let's just place it somewhere over this portion Now just place this subject below this layer. Now select this tool, uh, strip, add a layer mask on it and select the brush tool. Decrease the size of the brush and select the black color from here and just erase this portion from here. Just a little bit. Or let's just make a little bit of from here. Now this one is looking very really much perfect. So let's again do the same process on this portion. Just erase it a little bit from here. Now this one is looking very really much perfect. Now all you have to do is just go to the adjustment layer, select the color lookup and just add this flare fp blue leaf 
preset or the loot file which I have already given you yesterday or well, I'll put the links down in the description so you can just download that from the links so you can see the difference it is really totally converted your photograph to kind of amazing you know preset which is looking very much perfect now you can just transform the subject wherever you want you can always place it let's just place it somewhere over here now you can just you know add, add some kind of blur on the background so go to the filter select the blur and select the lens blur from there first of all all we gonna do is just crop the image so select the crop tool and just crop the image and hit ok now just go to the filter select the blur and then select the lens blur and we gonna just do a very perfect and precise lens blur of this background just blur a little bit don't add too much of blur over there now just hit ok and you can see the difference it is really making your photograph to look very very amazing now let's just place it somewhere over here or you can also delete it again this strip from here increase the size of the brush and just place it somewhere over here Just delete it in a proper way so that no one would be able to identify this. Press Ctrl T and increase the size of the subject or the background. Now it is really looking very much perfect. Now if you want to add some kind of effect you can always add now let's just again let's just erase some kind of from here or let's just create a new layer select the brush tool and just pick this gray color and just paint it over somewhere here just like this eh? now all you have to do is just decrease the opacity from here now this one is looking very much perfect press ctrl u and just decrease the saturation to merge it properly with the background layer now this one is really looking pretty much perfect so all you have to do is first of all if you want to you know color grade or make the face of the subject very perfectly so you can do it so let's just you know add some kind of you know select the brush tool select the mixture brush make the body weight uh, just unselect this one select the weight to around you know 45 or 30 around load to 25 mix to you know 30 or 70 like 35 would be pretty much perfect and just flow also to around 40 now just merge the skin or the do a smoothening a little bit only don't add too much of you know smoothening on the skin so this is how you have to smoothen your skin and just make it look more and more amazing so here we have almost completed now let's you know let's just create new layer 
create fillet with the 50% gray and just change the blending mode to overlay and select the dodge tool make the exposure to around 15 or 12 percent now let's add some highlights over here also some portion over here This will actually make your photo to look you know more and more amazing and kind of you know polish the look. Let's select the eraser tool and just delete it something from here. Let's select the burn tool and just make the exposure to around you know 8% and just add some darkness over here and let's add something over this portion now this one is looking very very perfect and making it look more chiseled you can just decrease some saturation or the opacity from here if you don't want too much you can just add a little bit of smudging Decrease opacity to 20%. Now this one is looking very very perfect. Now just merge the old layers, right click on it and select merge layers. Select the crop tool and hit again OK. Now again let's go to the filter, select the camera filter from there. And let's just you know add some kind of more depth to the image. So increase the contrast. Uh, reduce the highlights if you want to reduce and increase the whiteness you can add some vignetti on the image if you want just a little bit of vignetti would be pretty much perfect and hit ok now this one is looking very very amazing guys so you can see the difference here is the before and here is the after i hope you all have enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then just hit the like button and if you still not subscribe yet then subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified of our videos and presets also visit our website that is www.ashwircreations.com From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, loads to color grade your videos as well as photos and other cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. Also don't forget to you know visit our website that is www.ashwircreations.com From there you can download backgrounds, camera preset, lightroom preset, loads to color grade your videos as well as photos and other cool photo editing as well as video editing stuff for free. Also don't forget to you know, visit our second website that is www.filterpreset.com On that website we can upload soon the most creative and the powerful preset very soon So guys stay tuned on that website also Also follow me on Instagram just type asterisk So guys thank you for watching and bye bye till the next video